So we've just returned from Yellowstone National Park where we were helping partners deploy audio recording units or ARUs. The partnership with Grizzly Systems, Yellowstone National Park's Wolf Project, and Yellowstone Forever is really amazing because it's giving us these tools that can help us begin to manage wolves in a more efficient manner. Right? So what we're looking at is how can we use the data that we're collecting on these porting units in order to begin to understand the movement of a wolf through Yellowstone National Park and the greater Yellowstone ecosystem. I'm Leah Brixen. I'm a manager of AI for conservation. And I manage projects where we apply artificial intelligence tools to help conservationists either answer behavioral questions or answer like censusing data, tracking. I think AI could be really helpful because it could save the conservationists a lot of time. They're out there gathering massive amounts of data and to sit there and listen to you know, thousands of hours of audio is not a good use of their time. So much so that it's impractical to apply those methods to track animals. They just don't have the resources to do it, so they can't do it. So this enables them to use this technology and get a lot more information so they can make informed decisions for conservation. So this project's really neat because Colossal is bringing its AI core, its AR expertise to an amazing product that Grizzly Systems has created. This is the first time we've ever seen sort of video and audio in one device. It's compact, it's also cost efficient, and it gives us the ability to not just pick up sounds, but be able to tell directions of sounds. Where did the sound come from? Where is the wolf that's making the howl? Those are really uh, interesting data points for us when we're trying to understand the movement of a wolf. What's really exciting is gathering the data because we, we have so much human data, but we don't have a lot of wildlife data. It takes some, some iteration to get these models working right. Ideally, we can have a very large data set they're called foundation models that are trained um, on massive data sets to work very well. And those can generalize to other situations that have smaller data sets. So once these models are developed um, and we've validated them, they have very high accuracy. Um, they work in a variety of situations with a lot of background noise. We put these directly on the Grizz cams um, so that they are running continuously on the audio that is being recorded. And then once a call or some event of interest is detected, it will send out a flag and can notify that you know the call of interest has happened, has occurred. This is really exciting because this is the first time ever we've had real-time capabilities. So as sounds are being produced in the wild, that data is being processed on the ARU, and then the process data is being shared with our computer so that we can begin our study immediately. What's really amazing about the data that these ARUs are collecting and our use of AI in order to try to identify calls, and not just calls, also individuals, we can begin to find ways to census or count animals in the wild more efficiently. Right now, a lot of the way that we track wildlife is based on these collars. So you have to anesthetize an animal in the wild, you put a collar on them, it's very expensive, there's some risk involved. If this is a passive way that we can begin to listen to the sounds of nature, identify specific wolves in that setting, and then begin to understand how we can estimate population size based on how many times we count the same wolf. And that's really amazing information so that we actually know what is the real number of wolves in a given setting. And then that's a powerful tool for managing everything from the prey species population to how do we protect livestock.